Did you just eat breakfast? <laughs> so I usually start my morning off with coffee. I've got my donut shop coffee. And then I'm gonna take a shower. So I'm gonna use this and then put some um, collagen in it. Sugar free. I usually like sugar free creamer, but um, and it's got it's got the oh that's loud. It's got the MCT oil. So we're gonna start my breakfast. Um, I already showed you guys. I had my coffee. Um, <clears throat> I have about two cups of coffee and then I'll move on to breakfast. I have my first cup of coffee with cream and the second cup without cream, um, just to like balance it out. But anyways, so I have my blueberries. Those are gonna go with my pancakes. Two eggs for my pancakes, two eggs for me. And then I'm gonna have my uh, sugar-free turkey bacon, two pieces that I'll pour over my, pan my waffles because um, I'm gonna make waffles. And I'm gonna use a combination of these two things for my um, waffle mix, sugar-free and then the gluten-free, the grain-free. And then I'll be using that oil um, in the pancakes, or sorry, the waffle mix. I keep saying pancake, because I keep saying it. You can make a pancake or a waffle out of this mix. Um, I'm just gonna make waffles. And then I'm gonna put some nutmeg and cinnamon and my V-Pro um, peanut butter protein in to the, um, the, the waffle mix. So I'm just eyeballing this. I'm just used to making this stuff, so I kind of know. I'm gonna add a little bit of that, and then some of this. One scoop. So this is good, because I love peanut butter, so if you like peanut butter, so it's not. You can make this with egg whites if you want. I will be eating egg whites, so um, I'm gonna just use one yolk and then not the uh, not the other yolk. Coconut oil and some water. To make this uh, a little bit more creamy, you could use milk, but I don't want to do that. I make this a lot, so I've eyeballed all of it. Um, you can use measuring cups and follow the directions. I'm gonna get my bacon going, and I'm gonna get my other two eggs going. A waffle maker here, which I just washed out, but it's getting nice and hot. I put a little bit of um, cooking spray on. And I just finished flipping them so that they can get crispy on this side too. I'll start cooking my eggs here. I put a little bit of garlic powder in this, but that's about it. Normally I would have um, cinnamon bread, this organic that I really like, Ezekiel bread or the sprouted cinnamon raisin bread. So this is pre uh, the peanut butter and syrup. So I'm gonna cut my banana up and put that on. Anyways, let me dress this up real quick. And then for my drink, I'm gonna have this molasses with um, eight ounces of hot water. One, it, there's so much magnesium in it, calcium, potassium, iron. Um, I just really love it. It makes me feel more energetic. And honestly, it's really good for your skin. It's really good for uh, your hair, it's really good for iron. I don't drink it every day, but it's also really good for um, PMS and for us women as well. So it's really good if you have anemia and um, for like low iron levels. And it's also really good for bones, and your blood cells and things. So make sure you have a straw. So here's the final product for my breakfast. I'm gonna eat now. I just had my molasses and my thing's beeping, hold on. Ah! No! 
So I put this on my Instagram, but basically I'll just show you guys. So I usually have a lot of eggs. Um, these are all cage-free. Um, then I have my apple cider vinegars, molasses. This is my cheap meal sweet cream. I love it. I don't all, I don't actually use it that much. I just do this whenever I have like a, a cheat day or something. Um, cause it's like my favorite and I love coffee. So I have my kombuchas all here. I have my tuna and then pickles. I love pickle, love pickle juice. And then I have my oat creamer, my plant-based stuff, almond milk and my, my sugar-free there. That's driving me nuts here. And then my sugar-free jellies. Um, I love jelly, but I use sugar-free. I've got my sugar-free ketchup. I have a dressing that I made, low sodium mustard, my hot sauce, olives, because I love olives. And then I have my barbecue sauce on the way, my sugar-free barbecue sauce. Um, I've got a pineapple that I bought, some chicken broth. We're gonna make these later. Uh, sweet potatoes. I need to go back to the grocery store. Some uh, meats and stuff already made salad i've got my breads that i usually use for breakfast some strawberries i'm actually doing for a face mask pesto because i wanted to do like a little pizza the other day with some hummus uh beets i'm like obsessed with beets and then i have some meals um like i said i love beets <sighs> obsessed more eggs um i have more eggs coming that i just ordered my little cheesecakes that i love these are sugar-free um cheesecakes and my toffee and some Oreos that I love. And in here, um, red and white potatoes, garlic, avocado, apples, some oranges, grapefruits, lemons, limes. I've got my sugar-free bacon, because I'm gonna make that already out and about, and some tunas, asparagus. At the grocery store, like I said, but I'm gonna go get stock up on meat, but here's some meat. I've already got meat right there thawing, and um, some beef from Whole Foods. I have my Real Good Foods ice cream. I like to freeze my blueberries and raspberries and I've got some more Ezekiel bread. And my ginger, I freeze. And then we have some, lots of peanut butter, uh, marshmallow fluff. Marshmallow fluff is one of my favorite things as far as the cheat meal is concerned with peanut butter and as a sandwich, if you've never had that, I recommend it. A lot of honeys, because I like honey, oils, I got my sugar-free syrups, spices, I've got my pancake mix, oatmeal, gluten-free, rice cakes up there. Then here I've got my supplements, my meal prep things, some of those thingies, and cereal I never eat really. Got my nuts, like I said, I need to go to the grocery store and stock up on my K-cups, but um, talk about my k-cups but i've got lots of nuts because i love trail mix like my vitamins and things in here pastas and stuff i this is usually full of rice but i need to go to the grocery store like i keep saying so the rice i use is the jasmine rice and bas basmati let's see I buy a lot of these because i love them and then i just have my stuff right here and yeah bananas yeah and that's just, you know, some wine and some champagne and some mixers and stuff that uh, I've just had. I've put this on my Instagram before. I'm obsessed with this, guys. If you need a low-calorie margarita, I'm, like, obsessed with margaritas. This is honestly the best mixer I've ever had. And it's only got 68 calories per serving. My friends asked me to buy them because they're so hard to find. So we, like, stock up. But honestly, one of the best things. And they have it in um, a Bloody Mary mix too. 30 calories. Which is what I deal with every day. Um, don't look at the stuff behind me. This is secret stuff. Anyways, you can't really see it. I'm gonna have my breakfast. I have avocado and honey on my face. Um, I gave myself a pretty crazy chemical peel, so pretty scary underneath. Also guys, please don't mind the eyelashes. I got about three hanging on for dear life because this is quarantine. So these puppies have stayed on like, you know, oof, like my ex did, wouldn't leave. <laughs> I showed you what I made. I only used half of a banana, um, not the whole thing because 
with bananas, there's a lot of sugar in them, but it's also really good potassium. So uh, just use half, but I'm gonna be doing legs today, so I really want all of that. I want, I want this kind of big breakfast just because I really wanna pump out for my legs. I'm working out like three times today, so I'm gonna be eating a lot more carbs today. Right now, I'm kind of like in the process of starting my like shred, so I still wanna keep the carbs in my system right now just because I am working out a lot. And two, with all the gyms closed and everything, um, I'm doing a lot more cardio type of workouts, so I don't wanna lose a lot of that like mass. I've I took two of my carb blockers, Adaloads, to Adaloads, I'll put it here. It's by Steel Supplements. So basically, when I'm eating carbs like this, it's actually gonna put all those carbs back into my muscle as opposed to storing those to fat. So right now, um, since a lot of people aren't really doing a lot and maybe they're snacking a lot, I think that's something I would really recommend that you would that you get. I'm obsessed with skincare. Definitely obsessed with DIY uh, face masks. So maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but, um, I'm going to be eating four times today, and I'm going to eat, be eating my carbs around the times that I'm working out. Keep in mind that what I eat and what you eat can go into our bodies completely different. Keep that in mind. What I'm showing you and what I'm eating is specifically things that work for my body. A lot of people do macros and want to know about macros or hit me up about macros and all that kind of stuff, but macros are a good thing if you like structure. And they're a good thing if you are willing to incorporate a lot of incorporate a lot of health and uh, changes into your diet, and you're willing to stick to those kind of things. Macros are sometimes dangerous too if you don't incorporate plans or structure into your life. Um, they're really good for ketogenic diets. They're really good for high protein diets. If you're wanting to do a a macro type diet and you're willing to stick to it and, and kind of like learn the ins and outs of it, that's awesome. But keep in mind too, like a lot of people, after they've done the macro-based diet, um, you know, there's a, always, a, there's sometimes a rebound side where they go back to eating normally and there's always a bounce back effect of, you know, sometimes they can gain even more weight or gain the weight back and there's a lot of things too. So keep in mind it is a, it's a structured kind of diet and that's really good to incorporate in your life. I've been doing all this kind of stuff for a long time, so I don't really measure things out. I eyeball a lot just because I've been doing this and I know what my body needs. I'm really big on ounces. With me, I know like when I'm doing a, a bulking diet or a shred diet or a lean bulking kind of diet, there's a lot of things that go into those things. I base a lot of what I'm eating around my stomach and if my abs are showing or my abs aren't showing, it's a really good gauge for me to to know, okay, I'm getting too much of this and too much of that now. I need to not do this. I never wanna lose my abs, even if I'm doing a lean bulk or a bulk because that to me is telling me where my body fat percentage is, if that makes sense. So um, I gauge myself on that. Legs, a big leg day workout takes all those carbs and you need it, uh, especially if you wanna put on some muscle and some size in your glutes and your uh, thighs. So don't, be scared of food, enjoy food, welcome food, I love food, live too. Um, I preach a lot of that as well. I want you to have a nice lifestyle to where you can feel healthy and stuff, but you're also living and enjoying your, yourself. Please don't be scared of food and don't feel like, oh, I had, you know, four cookies last night, so let me just go and, you know, work out 15 times a day. That's not how it works. It's already in your system, it's already there. You know, just plan to do better the next day. And yeah, and that's also this whole thing that I preach with life balance and food balance. You know, the more you deprive yourself, the more you're gonna go nuts whenever you, la you deprive yourself of things that you love. So have a bite here and there. Have a little bit of something just to make yourself feel in your mind that, okay, I don't need to go and like, freak out whenever I see a cheesecake in front of me. Um, you can practice control. So, because you allow yourself to have little bitty things here and there. And I totally believe in that. I believe life is a beautiful thing. Food is a beautiful thing. Our taste buds are beautiful things. So, 
enjoy yourself but stay healthy and so i hope this helps and i'm excited to show you guys please don't pay attention to any of this i'm just being realistic with you <laughs> um with avocado on my face i i'm just being me and this is how i am and also i'm having my kombucha this is the add a load I was talking about. So it's really good for putting the carbs back into your uh, muscles. So for my second meal, I'm gonna be having um, turkey breast. This is 99% lean. This is what it looks like. I already have it cooked. I just used some um, pink salt, Himalayan salt, and garlic powder, and pepper, and then, and some chili powder, and then I have some spinach, and we're gonna have some jasmine rice. Here's meal two, turkey breast, spinach, and rice. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna work out again. Coffee <laughs> workout, so I'm using the steel pre peachy workout. Steel peachy. You can use my code Nelly. Savage, go. Classy, bougie, fresh. Hey, I'm gonna make my shake. Ah. Bingo. 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 Bingo.